So I do a quick follow-up video to the uh, Urban Carry Hybrid Lock Leather Holster I got for the Star BM. Uh, I was hoping after you know a good month or more of constant day-to-day -day use, it would have softened up, worn in, or something, and. Although it has obvious signs of wear compared to, I mean, you can see where the checkering from the grip is pressed into there. Um, there's obvious signs of wear and break in, but the leather is still hard as a rock. Uh, it's even worse in there. Um, And unlike the other holster I have, this one hasn't smoothed out in the least. Um, there's some here from it rubbing against my shirt and car seat daily, but, uh, yeah. Uh, so, with that in mind, uh, let's move on to this part, which, if it'll focus... The biggest reason that I can't really suggest this, which it's really hard to see this, um, but I've got some fairly significant wear to my brand new Cerakoted BM uh, from the Kydex teeth that hold on to the trigger guard. Um, so instead of there being one tooth, there's actually two. And uh, you can see it a little better there. But it's stripping the Cerakote off. Uh, Gunsmith said that was to be expected because it's Kydex and suggested removing it. But at that point, this has zero retention because it's not designed to be used without those little Kydex clips. Um, so real short, sweet, like I said before, the, uh, if you need a holster for the Star BM, well, they make one, uh, however, quality wise, uh, and for how much I paid for this, I cannot recommend it if you're wanting a good holster. Um, I could have had one made custom for a similar price and it would be far better quality leather um, and I could actually have custom work done to it which this all their custom fancy stuff like this here this top portion could be a design um, it's not available for this holster just plain leather uh, no basket weave no no nothing so that's that um, yeah so if you need a holster they make one but I can't recommend it